scripture says that people will come from north and south, east and west, to sit at God's table in the kingdom of God. I must confess there are a few images more lovely than that. But until that beautiful promised day when all creation will share a table with Christ, we will keep gathering at this table. And at this table, we will tell the story of God's love. And at this table, we will break ordinary bread and drink from an ordinary cup. And at this table, none will be turned away, for Jesus welcomes all. At this table, we will dream for a better world where all are fed. And at this table, none will be hungry. So come, join us in the feast. Join the world in this feast. This is Christ's table. Come break with bread, break bread with us and experience the community of God formed to be with us. God of the lost and found, on this World Communion Sunday, we admit that we are hungry. We are hungry for justice. We are hungry for beauty. We are hungry for peace in the corners of the world that ate. We are hungry for friendship across party lines. We are hungry for closer relationships and deeper faith. We are hungry for bread that nourishes our bodies and souls. So now we lift up you the deepest longings in our hearts, the hunger pangs that weigh heavy in our spirits. Hear now the things that our souls hunger for. Wondrous God of infinite love and boundless compassion, mark our hearts with the seal of your handiwork. Create within us the joy of being in your presence. Stitch into our souls a desire to serve, the power to heal, the capacity to love deeply and genuinely. Mold us into reservoirs of hope, that we might pour out your bountiful blessings upon all of your people. May this time we partake of the body and blood of Jesus, unite us in the community of saints who know your love and proclaim your Son with fear and grace to be broken in the hurting world. May your healing hands be dissolved for any hurt and violence in this world, even as we prepare for the Wuanex. Gracious God, we are hungry, but we are so also helpful. We are also hopeful because at this table we are reminded of what community can look like. And at this table we remember what love tastes like. And at this table we remember what welcomes feels like. And at this table we are united. So again, we turn to you with our prayers. But this time we lift up our prayers and gratitudes. Here once again the countless things that we have to give thanks for. God of mana and mustard seeds, we are hungry and we are hopeful. As we gather at this table together, we ask that you pour out your spirit on this ordinary bread and cup. Transform this simple feast into a reminder of what it could be, a world where all are fed, all are welcome, and all are known. Unto the day, may this bread nourish our bodies alongside our spirits. May the joy of singing and feasting together void our weary hearts. And may your radical love open deeper compassion in us for our neighbors. With gratitude for your love and a hunger for your community, we weave our voices together in prayer, saying together the words your Son taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For dying is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And so we know the night before he was to be crucified, Jesus came with his friends, invited everyone to the table, and said to partake. This is the body which is broken for you, because he loves us. <coughs> The second, he took a cup, blessed it, said, This is a covenant that is poured out for you. Every time you drink, remember that it is because you are loved. Come, for the table of all is set and ready.
Holy God, time we come to this table, we look for you. We come looking for welcome, looking for reasons to hope. And just as you promised, you have met us here. What a gift. We may never be the same. So as we prepare to leave this place, may we go with the memories of this holy meal clinging to us. May we remember what it felt like to be welcomed to your table. And may we welcome others with the same warmth. May we remember that it felt like to have a meal where all were fed. And may we work for a world where none are hungry. May we remember what it felt like to draw closer to you. And may we continually seek you out with all what we do. Feeding God, week after week, we look for you. Week after week, you meet us here. Thank you. May we never be the same. Amen. Jesus often feeding people from water into wine to the abundant catch of fish, from feeding the 5,000 to dinner at Mary's and Martha's house. Jesus was often breaking bread, sharing food, and eating with his neighbors. So it only makes sense that in one of his last conversations with his disciples, Jesus said, feed my sheep. Family of faith, the offering is one way we try to respond to that invitation. In a moment, the ushers will collect our offerings, and I invite you to give what you can, trusting that these gifts are one way that we as a community feed God's sheep. So until all are fed and all are known, let us live generously. Let us feed God's sheep. We'll come around for a second collection, which will be the mission collection. Generous God, you gift us with sunlight, which grows the wheat, and rain, which nourishes the soil. You gift us with bread, which fills our bellies, and community, which fills our hearts. You gift us with rituals that ground us, and music that opens us. You gift us with stories that teaches us, and laughter that lifts us. For all these gifts and countless others, we say thank you. Take this offering and use it for your good. We are grateful. We are full to the brim. Amen.
Thank you again to Jared for sharing your time and talent with us today. Please stand in body or spirit for our benediction and remain standing for our final hymn. Remember to take the bread over to Wabi Hall when you're done, otherwise I'm going to run away with some of that bread. Family of faith, as you leave this place, may you leave hungry, hungry for justice. May you leave hopeful, hopeful for the day when we will return to God's table. And may you leave knowing deep in your bones that nothing can separate you from the love of God. For no matter where you go, north, south, east, or west, the God of creation will have a seat safe for you. Go and love likewise. Amen.